Hi guys, it's Christina, the carriage driver again. I'm over here at Westside Livery Stable on uh, Monday, June 12th at about 12.15. Um, we're all in for, for a heat suspension which went into effect about 11 o'clock this morning. Uh, I just wanted to talk about heat suspension because a lot of people don't know what uh, they're about and don't know how they work and they're under the um, a lot of misinformation out there about when to report like a heat violation or something like that. Um, three main takeaways I want to get out of this is that uh, horses don't burst into flames when it turns 90 degrees. They can't teleport and just because we in New York City do things one way doesn't mean that other places aren't doing the right thing by their horses too. So the heat regulations in New York are um, under 17-330 01 through 5 uh, in the health department, health codes. Uh, basically what it is is that we can't work if it's above 89 degrees. Once it reaches 90 degrees, we have to stop work. Um, now, we can't just stop work immediately. I mean, what if we're up in the park and we're gonna just put people out and, you know. So we do have half an hour once the temperature reaches 90 degrees. And we've been notified that the temperature has reached 90 degrees to complete any rides that we're on and then we have time to rest our horses in the shade, give them water or whatever, before proceeding back to the stable. Uh, there's no time requirement on that. Now, the temperature isn't what you see on your phone. It's not what it is at LaGuardia. It's not even necessarily what it is at the National Weather Service uh, thermometer at the Belvedere Castle in Central Park. It's actually the temperature as measured by the health department's official thermometer held at head level in the carriage stands. So that thermometer is actually in the possession of the NYPD mounted unit. They get a notification from an in-place unofficial thermometer that is on Grand Army Plaza, and they come out when they, that thermometer reaches approaching 90 degrees, and they come out and they measure. Um, so sometimes 90 degrees happens when it, you know the National Weather Service says it's like 85 degrees like it was today because we're in June when the sun is much hotter. In the um, fall, when we get 90 degree weather in September, um, that tends to be a lot closer to the actual um, temperatures that you see on other thermometers, although sometimes it'll be a lot higher out at LaGuardia or JFK than it is in the park, <laughs> unsurprisingly. So um, that's the official thermometer, it belongs to the uh, health department and it's used by the mounted unit. Now, once they get 90 degrees, we get a little um, text message from the health department that lets us know that the work suspension is in progress. And that gives us the head up that we should be finishing our rides and going in. Um, so this is a whole process. It can take anywhere between an hour, hour and a half uh, from the receipt of that text message, which is actually not even an official message. Um, if anybody were refuse to comply with that text message, they would get a written violation or a written warning. Um, that doesn't happen. We, we get that text message and it's like the, the mass exodus from uh, 59th Street. And uh, we all come in. And it can take an hour, hour and a half for the last carriages to get in. Once uh, we're all back, the horses get nice cool showers, get cooled off. Now we do have the um, lowest stop work temperature in the country. And, you know, it's, it, we stop work when it reaches 90 degrees. And we get a lot of people that get upset when they see a horse out and they're like, it's 90 degrees. I'm like, well, yeah, it's nice to be 90 degrees before the horse goes in, you know? Like, so we will always be out when it's 90 degrees once the heat suspension has been started uh, because if it, if it wasn't 90 degrees, we wouldn't be sent in. So horses don't teleport. It does take a little bit of time for us to get back to the stable. And as a matter of fact, you would want us to be moseying on along, giving our horses a rest after they finish a ride, and then walking back to the stables. I mean, we shouldn't be galloping home. It's hot outside. Um, the other thing is that, you know, other places have different temperature requirements. Uh, Philadelphia, they stopped working when it's 92. In Charleston, it's now 95. It used to be 98. They have a, actually, I, I think Charleston's got a great system down there. Uh, it's actually based on the horse's internal temperature readings as to when the individual horses um, can and cannot work. If the, if the individual horse is getting too hot, they have to stop work and get cooled down and hosed down and everything like that. 
if the individual horse is fine, they can keep working. That seems like a very logical thing to do. Um, our temperature here in New York is so low just because, you know, it's the way it's been for 30 years and it, it covers pretty much all your bases. None of our horses are going to have a problem at, uh, at 90 degrees. Um, there's no temperature restrictions for riding horses. Um, rental riding horses, yes, but riding horses, you know, doing horse shows and everything like that around the country generally don't have a cutoff temperature. If it is, it is way above 90 degrees. There's no temperature cutoffs for Belmont or Aqueduct. They race, they're out there racing. Well, not today, it's Monday, but you know, uh, they would be racing at this temperature. Uh, the, ninth, the 2008 Beijing Olympics, they um, did show jumping in Beijing at 104 degrees. So, I mean, horses, they're animals that were adapted on the steppes of uh, Southwest Asia, uh, where there aren't any trees and it's very hot. Now, draft horses, they are not as heat adapted, perhaps, as the Arabians and the lighter, hot-blooded horses. Uh, and so you just take extra precaution with them. But horses cool themselves by sweating, uh, like we do. So, you know, and by uh, thermo, um, a vasodilation, you know, that's what you see a racehorse coming off the track. He's got his muscles all, his blood vessels all bulging and everything like that gets the blood to the surface so the horse can cool himself. Um, horses genera generate a lot of heat with their muscles, so when they're exercising really heavy, um, they do, you do see uh, body temperature rise in horses, uh, but that's much less likely to happen with our horses because our horses are just working at a walk. They're not really doing hard work. Um, so anyway, that's a little rundown of the heat suspension. Uh, our horses are all inside. They're enjoying our hay, except there's a few over here uh, getting some baths. You know, they, they'll get rotated out, get their showers, and uh, have nice cool baths. So they are inside nice and cool right now. So I just wanted to give you guys a little overview of our heat suspension. All right, guys.